Hey, mad props, big ups, accolades, laurels even, mm-hmm. to Nathan Chandler, the owner of Confections Bakery in Pocatello. Oh, yeah. Good for him. He competed in Netflix's Blue Ribbon Baking Championship mm-hmm. and won. That's pretty cool. So we got to put that on the list of places to go. I want award winning. I mean, I was going to say. <laughs> I want Netflix award. Like, the world doesn't revolve around East Idaho. No. It could be said. <laughs> we don't get a lot of action here. But, you know, Netflix is global, baby. Mm-hmm. There are people all over the world going, I want to go to where he is. Right. And we're well, 45 and, minutes away. Right. Well, and I love watching cooking shows in general. And the one thing that I wish is I wish I could taste the food, mm-hmm. you know, because you can get like a pretty good idea of how it should taste based on what the judges say and how it looks and stuff. But like, I've always wanted to just like reach for, through the screen and just, you know, Get a little lick. Yes. You know, and now we can. So. Man, I wish we would have been able to go uh, when, that day that we went to the Kane Brown concert. Right. If only I could have gotten off work a little sooner. Dang. We were already. In fact, let's talk about Kane Brown. Yeah. Why don't we? Here's our little corn dog toast. The corn dog company <laughs> was there. Always and, nice. And Kane Brown. Um, we were just in the back in the general admission, mm-hmm. which was fine by me. Yeah. It was actually kind of nice in my opinion. Now you might be wondering who's Kane Brown. And if you are, he's got what is, in my mind, the song of the summer. Mm-hmm. Miles on it with Marshmallow. Now, it is a jam. In fact, we've talked about it already uh-huh. on this show. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a great song. And I ask you, when was the last time that somebody who had a huge smash mm-hmm. banger on the radio played while it was on the radio. Right. Yeah. We kind of, we either get the N- Nothing against Journey, but that was 40 years ago. No, you're right. We either get the up and comers or the ones who haven't been doing too much for a while. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so to be there for that and we- That was pretty cool. Mikey doesn't really like live shows. <laughs> In fact, the tickets were courtesy of Don Jarrett from 96.1 and 102 yes. on The Wolf. Thank you, Don. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> And he was surprised to see me there. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he knows. I thought that was kind of funny. I've just, you know, I did radio for a minute. Mm-hmm. Got a little jaded, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you did You did enough live shows. Walked out of a Madonna concert at the United Center in Chicago to go to the pick and save and do some grocery shopping. You know, it just, <laughs> it takes a lot for me. Right. I get it. But I get it. But to go there and see <clears throat> that right now, this summer, was hot. I'm sure he booked a show before his song blew up. Probably. Yeah. Well, and I liked being the, in the general admission area because it kind of felt like being at a mini version of the fair, almost. It was very fair-like, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know what it was about it, except for like the little trailers with food and stuff that did it for me. But yeah, it just felt like a little teeny tiny fair. Well, yeah. People standing around, talking, <laughs> walking around in mm-hmm. the back. I'm yeah. sure in the front, it was a much more intense experience. Probably. I also really liked some of the pyrotechnics that he had. I don't know what it is about fire that makes so- songs just sound so much better. Yeah, fire is cool. Yeah. But like <laughs> when it goes off to the beat and stuff and it's like whoosh, little fire bursts, like yeah. it's just, it's rad, dude. And when you're close enough to feel it, yeah. that's hot. Yeah, that literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we did it perfectly uh, because I'm not concert averse, but close. <laughs> Right. We did it perfectly. Okay, gates open at 6, show starts at 8. Does he have an opener? Yes. That means he'll start at 9. We got there at 8.59. Mm-hmm. We heard a little bit of the film music. Mm-hmm. Uh, he played Miles on it 45 minutes into the show. Which you thought he was going to play it later on. I was like, no, no way will he play it in the middle of the show. Mm-hmm. He's going to put it at the end. Right. But I was like, I have a feeling it's going to be in the middle. Carly was I right. I was right. You win, <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> And then For we once. went and gambled at the Shoshone Bannock Hotel and Event Center. Yeah, yeah, we just threw a couple bucks in, and and the best part was we got out of there before everyone else did. Yeah, so we didn't have to deal with all that traffic, especially with the construction There's on I fifteen. There's two construction zones in between <gasps> Fort Hall and Idaho Falls. I couldn't do it. Yep, man. Even just leaving leaving the Butterfly Sanctuary uh, the last time I went, it was just hellish trying to get through Blackfoot. Uh I ended up sitting in traffic for a good 20, 30, 40 minutes. We cruised all the way home. It was great. It was perfect. 